kids, we are talking about the sixth grade standard, equations and expressions, 2A. So this says that we're going to write expressions that record operations with numbers and letters that stand in for numbers. Okay, so basically what that means is they're going to give us something. Your prompt will be something written in English, and they're going to ask you to write a mathematical expression or a mathematical equation, and there'll be numbers and there'll be letters that stand for numbers, like variables, okay? So let's start off with something simple. Here it says subtract a number from 10. So you might say, uh, I have 10 and I'm going to subtract a number. So 10 subtract five. But that's not exactly what they mean, right? By when they say a number, or you're given a prompt that says any a number, they really mean any number. So a better response might be something like 10 minus y. All right, so there's a number, we don't know what it is, it's a mystery number, subtracted from 10. Now, this is a good first example because oftentimes people make the mistake and they'll say, oh, subtract a number from 10, and they'll say a number minus 10, right? But this means we're taking something from a, right? This is a take away 10, right? That means we're subtracting from a. Right? The thing that's being taken away from is the thing that's being subtracted from. So if we we're going to subtract from 10, we need to take it away from 10. 10 minus a number. Okay, So be careful of subtraction. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, it says write an algebraic expression for the difference between y, I think that must mean y squared, I apologize, y squared, and the sum of 3 and x. So let's think about what's happening here, right? We're asked to find the difference, right? When you're asked to find the difference, that means the problem will be a subtraction problem. So I often start by just writing the first part, the difference. And the difference between two things, this, the difference between this and this, right? So we have two things here, right? So we might call them terms, right? Because they're being subtracted, right? So the difference between this and this. So look out for this kind of syntax, right? When we ask you for the difference between two things, be aware there's two things. One of them is y squared, and the other one is a sum. So how am I going to write the sum of 3 and x? It means 3 plus x. So let me, let me rewrite this so it looks a little bit more like subtraction. All right, so here we are. There's the difference between y squared and three plus x. Might also look a little something like this, y squared minus the sum of three plus x. Right, so here's a sum and here's an exponent and we're finding the difference between them by putting a subtraction sign between them. All right, let's try another one. Write an algebraic expression for the sum of the area of a square with a side length of four and a and a rectangle with the side lengths of three and six. Now, uh, this might be confusing. This is confusing to me, so I'm going to try and draw it out, right? The area of a square. So let's begin by drawing a square. And it says it has uh, the sum of the area of a square, okay? The sum of the area of a square and and a rectangle. Let me get a different color here so it shows up. And a rectangle with the side lengths of three and six. So a rectangle with the side lengths of three and six. Three and six. I, I think I skipped something on the square. Let me go back here. Um, the sum of the area of a square with the side length of four and a. Side length of four. Oh, I see. Side length of four. And since it's a square, both sides will be four. And I want to read this a little more carefully here. It says that we're looking for the sum of the area of a square and a rectangle with the side lengths of three and six. So it looks like I will have to do, the, to get the area of the square, it looks like what I'm going to have to do is multiply, or four times four, or I can just write that as four exponent two. That's the area of that square. And we're looking for the sum so I'm going to go plus sign here. 
and then to find the area of the rectangle, right, the, and a rectangle with the side lengths of 3 and 6, uh, I'm going to multiply 3 times 6. I think that'll do it. That's the expression. This is the area of the square, this is the area of the rectangle, and this is their sum. Okay? So when you're reading these, like use your strategies. You know, maybe I haven't done a great job of using these strategies here, but I, I should underline the things that are important here. I'm finding the sum. Okay? So I look for the sum. And then I know there's going to be two or more things. So the first one was the area of a square. So I made sure I wrote the area of a square. And the other one was a rectangle. So I made sure I wrote the area of the rectangle. And that was it, right? And they gave us some details for each one. The square had a side like the four, and the rectangle had these dimensions, four and six. So that's our expression. I'm going to rewrite it a little more carefully. Four squared plus three times six. That's two areas. All right, great. I think that's it.